Hello everyone. This is Angela. Yes, this is Angela. I look like my sister. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the City of Healing, where the city resides within. I hope everyone is doing well. And uh, just wanted to come forth to um, give a brief share. And I just did a video that wasn't taping. Imagine that. And I just noticed that the red dot was not on. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> go in to actually do this video this time. How about that? Anyway, let me show you the outfit of the day. That's the outfit of the day. Anyway, just to tell you a little bit briefly about this outfit, I basically found this at um, Talbot's maybe a couple of years ago when it was on a clearance rack. And Talbot's is kind of high-end, high-quality clothes. And I, sometimes I just go in there just to look to see if something I might like. And I basically paid $10 for this. And it's a nice trench dress. And uh, it came with a belt, so I just cut off the sashes because it, the belt didn't come with it. So that was probably the reason why it was marked down so much. But I like this dress. It fits so comfortable. It looks more like a uniform, but I don't care. I really like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, this is like a, a, a neck choker, neck choker, <laughs> a neck choker that I got from an African shop. And these are basically some silver earrings. And here is some shoes that I got from a consignment store. Modern Vintage. They are like an Italian shoe. And it's real leather. And I don't have stinky feet. <laughs> but anyway, I love these shoes. They're different. And uh, I enjoy wearing them. Because they're different. They're not necessarily that comfortable. Especially at the... Um, the foot part but you know I'll sacrifice to wear them for a little while today anyway I just wanted to come forth just to do a brief share share my little outfit of the day that my kids said looks like a uniform but you know I didn't want to wear it with a belt or anything today I just decided just to wear it and enjoy it anyway I just wanted to come forth and talk about my wig <laughs> my first wig no, I didn't cut off all my hair. And no, this is not my hair. But I did cut off, I trimmed it, I washed it today, conditioned it, and I cut off about three inches and braided it up. And it's not glued on, it's not sewed on. I could take it off whenever I want. I'm not gonna take it off now. But um, basically, you know, just to rest my hair, do something different, you know, why not? And. Uh, Maybe I'll stick with this for a while. Maybe I'll get a different wig. Maybe I decide that I don't like wigs. Maybe I'll cut off all my hair. Who knows? I get to decide, right? <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to basically do um, just a, a quick reminder, if you're not already aware, that our ancestors were wigs. Not only just our grandmothers and our great-great-grandmothers going to church, but even the ancient Egyptians, the ancient Greeks wore wigs uh, not because they didn't have any hair but because they chose to shave off their hair um, some say because of lice others say because of nobility and to show that they were royal so they can have certain wigs and headpieces to fit on their head so wigs were very 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 prominent in ancient times and uh, very stylish and uh, some people say you know your hair is uh, antennas and perhaps there is but also as we know that hair hangs on to different energies for certain different stages of your life 
and you hold on to that and when you cut your hair anytime that you cut your hair you feel different you feel free you feel like there's a weight lifted off your shoulder you feel different and that's just an example of how energy can hold on into your hair but hair does not necessarily connect you closer as I mentioned before to the divinity because if you have it in it you have you in if you have it in you it's in you and it's easy to obtain if you just so choose to but hair does not necessarily connect you closer to God you know monks have bald heads and they don't they don't um, shave, they don't um, wear hair or wigs or anything like that, but they are some of the most that are, you know, connected supposedly to divinity. So um, hair is great and it does, it is a great connection. Um, it is like nature, like leaves, but just because you don't have hair or as much hair or dreaded hair does not mean that you don't have um, a sovereignty or a connection with the divine just a reminder about that um, about what whether you choose to wear natural hair dreadlocks wigs weaves bald you know it's totally up to you and you are already divine namaste right anyway i just wanted to come forth and share that brief reminder and um, it's going to be interesting going into work because i used to like to wear hair pieces, not hair pieces, head pieces or scarves, you know, to wrap my hair. But they said that we weren't allowed to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wear this, you know, they probably won't be able to tell if it's my hair or not, but it'll be interesting to see their response. You know, they won't have anything to say <laughs> because this is my hair and it's not a wrap. How about that? Anyway, I just wanted to come forth just to do a brief hair, uh, a brief <laughs> A brief share about wigs and wearing wigs and a reminder about our ancestors and uh, just um, enjoying it as a fashion statement is something to consider which I did and I I'm liking it it's all right <laughs> anyway the birds also uh, it's wonderful to see them they all have hot dates <laughs> birds are flying around in twos if you haven't noticed it's that time of the year to um connect and um <laughs> it's funny because they're flying in twos like they're on dates and you don't i haven't seen yet you know birds flying flying singularly <laughs> they have someone with them or another bird with them anyway check it out if you will anyway thanks for visiting the city and i hope you all have a beautiful day take care I like it. <laughs>